In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Shopify payments without SSA or as non-US resident. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here is my um, Shopify dashboard right here. In my last video, I show how you can connect um, Stripe account to your Shopify store. So if you want to watch that video, just check the description of this video. So for you to connect your um, Shopify payment to your Shopify store, what you want to do is to come to this setting. Then under this setting, if you come to this payment, um, you can see this is the Stripe payment I connected to the account. So if you want to learn how to connect Stripe to your account, to your Shopify store, then go ahead and watch that video. Then you can come back to this video. Then once you are here, you can see that there is no way to connect that right here. So what I want to do at this point is to come to this store details and um, i want to come to this billing information then i want to click on edit then at this point i want to change it from nigeria and um i'm going to be changing it to uk because that is where i form my company you can also form your company in us but i just found um forming company in uk more convenient and not as challenging as forming company in us and is less expensive so if you want to learn how to do that as well you can check the description of this video to know how you can form uk limited company for as cheap as 25 dollars now let's go back to business so right here is going to ask for the business legal name so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to fill my business legal name the business address and uh, the business address then we can continue with this video so um this is my company legal name and this is my company address then once i'm done with that uh, i can just come back to this currency i can leave it at usd then um that is pretty much everything i'm going to do here so once i'm done with that i'm just come i'm just going to come to this um this place and click on save so at this point um the it has already been saved as you can see settings saved so what i want to do at this point is to come back to this payment now as you can see it's now giving me option to switch to shopify payments so in your own case it's going to pop up a button that asks you to set up a shopify payment so but in my own case it's asking me to switch to shopify payment which was not here earlier so i'm just going to click on this then i'm going to activate shopify payment all right so they say they need more information about me which is the shop phone so i'm just going to come back here then i had my company phone number then once i do that i'm just going to click on save then i'm going to come back uh, okay as you can see right here uh, it has now this is how it's supposed to be in the first place so once you have this which is the shopify payment so just click on this activate shopify payment then um, i'm doing business as individual or shopify store. so if you are us resident then you are good to go but if you are not that means um, you are not doing business as an individual so you are doing business as your business or an individual that means you are going to input your business details and also your personal data which is the director data so once you untick that then just click on continue so once you get to this point um it's going to ask you to choose business type so for my own it's going to be um private limited company so if you form a llc company which is in us then you are going to be choosing llc so for my store business name it's going to be my company name so i'm just going to Put my company name here then for the company house registration which is the crn this is the number that is going to be coming with your business documents as soon as you get your business documents that is if you register in uk so if you register in us what you are saying there might be different but it's almost the same thing but this method is going to work perfectly fine best if your business is registered in uk which i advise most of my um, clients to always do because you don't have to go through the edit of all this ssn and other important um, details so if your company is registered in uk then your business document should have this crn number so for my own company this is going to be my um 
CRN number, right? So, uh, do you have a VAT number? No, it's not a must to have a VAT number before you can start running a Shopify store. You have to get to a specific amount. For UK, I don't know about US, but for UK, if you have crossed over 85K in GBP, that is in um, British pound, then that is when you are required to get your VAT number. But as for me, I've not crossed that limit. So I'm just going to say no. So now this is my business address, city in London, and almost the necessary details I need. Then at this point, this is where I have to input my personal details. So when it comes to this personal details, you want to make sure that everything you are filling here is exactly as it appears in your document. Maybe you are using driving license or you are using international passports. I will highly suggest you use international passport because it's widely accepted by all these um, international companies. My first name, last name. Then for my job, I'm just going to put um, entrepreneur. Then I'm going to put my date of birth. Then at this point, this is where you want to put your address. By default, it's going to fill in your company address. But what you want to make sure is that the address you are going to be putting here is going to be the address in your, mostly in your bank statement. So, but if you are landlord, you like you have already built your own house and you have a utility bill that maybe you pay a NEPA bill, but that NEPA bill is in your name, then you want to use your the address of that house. But the most important part is that you want to use the address in your documents, either in your bank statements or in the utility B. So if you're still rent, then you want to make sure that you want to put the address at it as it appear in your business, um, sorry, in your bank statement. So right now I'm just going to put in the address, then um, put in the address, then um, the countries, you have an option to select the country then the state then the city is going to be so once you fill all this necessary information then you want to come here and take this person um, is as more than 25 percent or more in this business meaning that you are the director of the business and you have at least 25 percent in the business then this person is also a director of this business meaning that you are the director of the company then um there's additional information right here which stated uh, if there's any other directors in this company then you can add it here but i'm just going to leave it that i'm the only director then the product on um, details the company i'm using for this business this registration is uh, my digital marketing company so i'm just going to choose for service for advertisement and all that now you are going to just write something here so as you can see right here just type something about the product or the service then once you do that here this is going to show um this is shopify this is sp shopify then it's going to show the name of the store so i'm just going to use green d so shopify green d so this is the phone number then um now i have to add uh the bank this is the banking information so this bank should be at least your business account so if you have not watched that video that i said you should watch earlier i should go and watch it because in that video i also show how you can open a business bank account like a foreign business bank account with wise so i'm just going to head over to my wise account right now get that information as you can see from here you can see that the business name i'm using on my Shopify account is the same business name. So since my business is set up in UK, most of the time, if I want to receive payments, I'm going to be getting the payment in uh, GBP, which is the British pound. So I'm just going to click here to get my account details. Click on this receive to get my account details. And as you can see, it's going to, if I click here, it's going to show me the necessary details I need to get. Then right here is going to be my sort code. So I'm just going to copy it, come back here. Come back here. This is my sort code. I paste it here. Then I'm just going to go back and get my account number. 
So this is going to be my account number. And you can see that the account order name is also in my company name. So everything is linked to my company. So I'm just going to come back here, then put the account number. Then as soon as I do that, what I want to do is to go back again to confirm the information that I post. Maybe if I made any mistake or something. So I'm just going to do that right away. All right, so all the information is correct. So what I'm going to do right now is just to click on this complete setup. And so at this point, they're asking me for two factors authentication. So I'm just going to click here to set it up. So um, I was given an option to use SMS, security code, or I use an authentication app. So I prefer using an authentication app. So I'm just going to pick authentication app. Then I'm going to scan this. So once I scan this, I'm going to put the code that I get from my authentication uh, app. So I'm just going to put. So once I do that, um, the next thing I want to do is to click on turn on. Then um, you can see that you have set up the authentication. Then um, I can now go ahead and download this just in case I don't have access to my authentication app so I can use this code. So I'm just going to click on this download code. Then the code has been downloaded right here, as you can see right here. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on continue. At this point, you can see that my Shopify payment has been successfully integrated and you can see my payout bank here. So once I get paid, then my payout is going to be into my GBP account. So this process is very, very easy uh, compared to following the um, U uh, US router, um, which is kind of complicated and all that. So I would highly suggest that you should go ahead and create a UK company and if possible, set up a UK Stripe account. And you can easily use that to also set up the Shopify payments. So that is everything you are going to, we are going to be learning in this video. So if you have not watched that video on how to set up your UK company and UK Stripe account, then make sure you go to the description right now and watch that video. So if you find this video helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people like you that are looking for a way to set up their Shopify payments can get to see this video. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video just like this, you'll be among the first people to be notified.